Frustration with the violence is becoming more and more evident in Iraq. Prominent politicians from both the Sunni and Shiite sides of the aisle are calling on Iraqi civilians to take up arms to defend themselves. And Al-Qaeda is getting in on the threats. The leader of an Al-Qaeda umbrella group in Iraq says his Sunni fighters will wage war against Iran if Tehran does not stop supporting Shiites in Iraq. The comments come after an especially deadly weekend. A truck bomb in Armaly, about 100 miles north of Baghdad, left more than 100 people dead and heaps of rubble where the town's market once stood. Many of the injured were flown to Turkey for medical treatment, among them children and the elderly. The transfer of patients at the border took place in an area where the road was so rough, soldiers carried the gurneys rather than roll them along the rocks. Turkish and U.S. troops were on hand to receive the convoy of ambulances. More than 20 people were transferred from Armalay to Kirkuk for the plane ride to Turkey. Meanwhile, a string of bombings in Baghdad killed more than two dozen people, especially hard hit the Karada district. One car bomb there targeted this row of shops. The neighborhood is thought to be among the most protected in the capital because the biggest Shiite party in parliament has its offices there. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.